Hi, hello, and welcome to this uh, YouTube video where we are going to be giving a new Sprog TCC system on the old Raspberry Pi Whirl. All right, first off, we're going to power off, power up our Sprog. We got our HDMI power in. Uh, this is the power into the track, and on the back, we've got network and four USB ports. We won't need those, so we're just going to start off with the power in. There we go. There we have power. I'll put that down there. Now, this is power we need to connect our track leads there we go, they're both in and this goes in here Alright, so let's turn the have to turn on our phone. And the first thing we have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. And there we are down here. Sprog Pi 3. Alright, so we're connected there. And then we want to start up our Wii Throttle. Okay, so we've got our throttle here. First thing we go into settings. Turn on the track power. Okay. Now we're at loco number 438. And in the throttle. We're moving forward. Pull it into reverse. And that's all I need. So here's something I learned that I didn't show. Wii Throttle versus Wii Throttle Lite. So here we go, this is Wii Throttle. And if you go to settings, you can see at the top here, there's an option for track power. That option is only available in Wii Throttle. So if you're gonna run the Sprog with no monitor attached, you're gonna need this track power switch to be able to turn power on and off to your track. Now, let's flip over to Wii Throttle Lite, and you're gonna see here that when I go into settings, we're missing that track power at the top of the screen there. Everything else, or a lot of what's in Wii Throttles in here too, you can see here there's an option to go buy the full version, and that's what I elected to do and that means I don't have to have an external monitor connected to my sprog. So here's a real-time clip of booting up the sprog DCC system. This is what you see with a monitor connected via HDMI. So the Raspberry Pi is up and running, and now the application is going to start automatically. 
So this is all pre-installed, pre-configured on the SIM card and gets your Sprog DCC up and running without need for you to do anything else. So one of the things you'll see at the top here is the Wii throttle window. And you see that there are no devices listed as connected so far. That'll change when you connect your cell phone. So the first thing you have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi for the Sprog, and it's Sprog Pi 3. I've already entered the password, so I'm not gonna get prompted for it. And once you're connected to that network, you can start up your Wii Throttle. Now, if we look back at the screen, you can see I've got a device that is now listed. That is what I have decided to call my cell phone. So Railcam 1 is my cell phone. So now let's switch over to settings and you'll note the track power button here. If I click off, that big unknown yellow box at the top now says off. I click on and now we're on. 